The old legs. <laughs> Ain't what they used to be. <laughs> Who wants me on their team? Nicky. Yeah, it's a very bad decision, I can tell you that now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play on the blues then. Play on the blues. Blues, OK. Where are you going? Oh, oh. Oh, good save. In the early 19th century, when Tom was at Christ's Hospital, football had few rules. It was only because of the increasing popularity of the sport in public schools that the game was finally regulated in 1863. Ah. But in Tom's day, players were allowed to trip each other up and even handle the ball. Oh, what a pass that is. Oh, that keeper keeps getting in the way. Oh. These trousers are too tight. <laughs> oh, this is it. This is it. Yes! You never lose it! Say cheese. I mean, when you consider he's a gardener's son, young Tom, and suddenly the gardener's boss decides to send him to a really, really top school. What a life-changing moment that must have been. And it was a real gesture from Edward King to do that for him. I suppose the obvious question now that I'd like answered is what happens to him in his professional life. It'd be interesting to see, having been given the opportunity, um, what he did with it. Gary's heading to the nearby Guildhall archive, which holds some of the school's old records. I didn't expect it. I've come along on this very, very bitterly cold morning to try and find out more, really, about 